Now I said there was other cars, but look, they've got one, two, three, four, it looks like five vehicles there. There's another vehicle. So we were on lot six over there. Now we're on lot ten right here. Ron Carl's this big view. Yeah, it looks like we're getting rain over there. All right. Rain to the east of us. But that's a lot. Another 40 acres. A quarter mile to the north. Then a quarter mile down the easement road and Right there is actually the easement. It's got the grass growed up on the easement. But we drove right up here, no problem. So about a third of the way, rises up, comes down, nice grass is there. Looks like a buffalo wallow right over there. Something, maybe a little draw right there. How far are you, Ron? Two thirds there. Two -thirds there. Also, notice how tall the grass is here. A lot of fences, and so the cattle haven't been getting over here. on still marching on there's the truck I'm at the halfway point here quarter mile that way wow and that is the facial pin Ron just put a flag down this is the southeast corner of lot 010 so that's going to be all your valley too because we just came a quarter mile that way Gorgeous. Wind's dying down. The haze is clearing up. We're at the halfway mark here. So, a quarter mile that direction. So, this lot's really close to lot 10, isn't it? Or lot 6. The lot we just did is close. Yeah. yeah. It's a halfway mark. There's actually an old easement or a road right through here too. Be easy to blaze that back through here again. Runs right behind the property or on the property or next to it. Uh, 
Okay, we're now at the northeast corner of lot 010. Section 15, Big Valley Ranches. And there's the truck. What's that, three-eighths of a mile now? And so look at this, this is the best pasture land we've seen all week. Just found two pieces of pottery down here in the wash. Basket weaver. Just some smooth stuff, but we're down in the wash. Heading for the northwest corner. The halfway mark and the sun's almost down. Again, we're still on lot 010, Big Valley Ranches, and the best pasture grazing ground we've seen. Look up, now we have some dirt showing, but look how rich, dark that dirt is. Look at that. That's some good stuff. There's the truck up on the hill. So your land goes along that high rise there. Along the rim of that little buffalo wallow there. Then back down to that valley. Then a quarter mile across. And now an eighth of a mile back that way. And an eighth of a mile back with Ron. As soon as he finds it. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the northwest corner of this huge 40-acre, beautiful prairie grazing valley. Look at that. And there's the truck up on the next hill. You own the whole valley for a quarter of a mile right there. I see where I'd put my house, Ron. You like to be on top. Yeah, I, I, would, I would put it right in that little circle cave there. Yeah, then you'd be protected when it is windy like today. Oh, you know what? That's where I'd put my house. You still got great views. Yeah. There's the truck over there. Oh, well, you're not in my way. All right, so last quarter, we'll call it a day and let's go have a soda pop. Now we've been walking for two thirds of the way. Sun's about to go down. Getting close to the truck. And somebody had an electric fence all the way down this side of the property. I don't know what they were trying to keep in. It was a little electric fence. Maybe they had Shetland ponies. Oh boy, a lot of hiking today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude our showing of lot 010 here in Big Valley Ranches. Yes, indeed, the sun's about to go down, so we'll, hopefully we'll get a, a nice uh, sundown shot for you. And I call this clouds. one the Big Valley Ranch View Lot because it has the best view in Big Valley Ranch. You hear that? Ron calls this one the best view lot because it has the best view in the whole place. And it does. That is magnificent. Yeah, you got it all directions too. <laughs> all directions.